everyone welcome back to my channel and today I will be showing you guys how to make your very own romper out of pants so without further ado let's get started in this video the supplies that you're going to need for this is a pair of pants I recommend using pants that are a little more flexible you're gonna need some scissors um, some sewing pins and if you want some other shorts to like guide it as well as a sewing machine the first step into making this is to cut your pants. Um, I put my pants a little more longer than usual. That way, like the material wouldn't, you know, go up the middle or was too short because you want something to be longer than you want it to be shorter. Um, so I did already make my first outfit with this pair of pants already. So I just used those shorts to guide it. But you can take any shorts that you want from your closet and just guide where you want to cut it. And like I said, I'd make it a little longer just in case the material that you're using will like scrunch up or anything like that. So definitely make them a little longer because you can always cut down later if they are too long for your style. And once you get the length that you want, you want to cut at least an inch away from the pant line. That way you can use that to fold over and sew underneath. The next step is to take your pants or your shorts now that you've cut and turn them inside out so that you can begin to pin them. Um, so like I said, this is where the extra inch comes from. That way you can fold them under and pin them together so you have a nice um, you know, seam at the end and it's not all frayed. Now that you have your shorts all pinned, you're just going to put it to the side and now we're going to work on the extra material of the pants that we have left. Um, so what I did was just cut down the side uh, of the pant leg. It was easy for me because it was, you know, striped so like it kind of matched well. But make sure you that when you cut your material that you, you know, go with your pattern so it doesn't look all wombly or off. Um, and then what you're going to do is just cut down the middle and then open it up. And then what I did was just cut the extra seam out since it did kind of mess up the seam so that there was only one seam left on the pant line. The next step is to start assembling our top. So this actually worked out pretty well. Like the size of the pant leg was actually like perfect size for my body. With this, you may have to change it a little bit. Like I said, it worked for me. Um, so if you need to, you can like sew this and then add like a crop top or whatever kind of top style that you want. That way you can take out your shape of the bodice. But what you're gonna do is take your materials, make sure you have the nice material side on the inside and you're just gonna pin down the sides and we're gonna get ready to sew this. And before we get sewing, if you do have extra material that's hanging off, I recommend just cutting it off now. That way you have a clean, even material. And now that we're ready, we're going to sew everything. So you're going to sew your short line at the bottom to make sure that it doesn't fray. And then you're going to start sewing your top and the lines that you had pinned as well.
And once you're done with your top, um, you will notice that the bottom part still isn't like pinned again. So you want to fold it like you did with your shorts. That way your top doesn't fray either. So you're just going to fold it inside out and then fold the little extra material, probably an inch just to fold it around so you can sew it so it doesn't fringe at all. And once you have that all pinned, you're just going to do the same thing and sew it to make sure that the fringe will never happen. And once you're done with your little outfit, you know, take pictures, be proud of what you made. Um, so technically this isn't really a romper, it's more of like a matching set, but since it was longer for me, I just called it a romper because it does look like a romper. Now this may be optional for you, but when I put the top on, it was very loose on the top part of my body. Um, like it fit well on the bodice, but it was just the top part was extremely loose, so I just put ribbon in the shirt just to make sure that you know nothing fell off or anything so what i did was just take little scissors to cut little holes at the center where i wanted the ribbon to go in and then a tip is just to use a safety pin on your ribbon and that way it makes it easier to thread it through your clothes so again this is optional but i had to do it for my um, size All right, and then here's the final product, the shorts, and here is the top, and I'm all done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.